Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and the White Oak collector is back for another week of Transformers reviews. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Kingdom Rhinox. But before we look at Rhinox himself, we're going to look at his packaging. We got this from Ollie's for about 20 bucks, And it's not a bad looking figure. Got some nice box artwork of Maximal Rhinox. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Trilogy. Takara Tomy, Autobot Insignia, Transformers. And a bio of Rhinox. Not a bio, but a picture of Rhinox in his robot mode and his rhino mode. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get on to looking at Rhinox himself. And man, this looks just like his Beast Wars self. Down to the Beast Mode and the Rhino Mode, which Rhinox was a Rhino. Rhinox, maximize. And that's my Rhinox impression. But before we get on to transforming him... Let's do some comparisons. Why not? Here is Transformers Kingdom's Rhinox next to the Beast Wars re-release Rat Trap. Why not? Yeah, I say why not? Leader Optimus Primal. The only version of Optimus Primal I own. Beast Machines Rat Trap because... He's Rat Trap. Why not? Transformers Viacon Mirage. And his other reincarnation of Rhinox, Tankor. I never had a Rhinox to compare next to Tankor. Then I do have one now. And it is awesome looking. But now we're going to get down to transforming this epic figure. <coughs> uh, sorry, the dust down here is making my nose react, so sorry about that, YouTube land. But it's straight and forward, like it is, straight forward. So far, I'm getting the legs. So far, I'm getting them, more or less. Mm -hmm. I've had some time to mess around with this guy before, but it's still a bit tough to transform him. I will state that for sure. Man, I'm going to have to look at the instructions. His legs are giving me the most trouble. Okay. I'll have to figure out that off camera. Okay, I got it.
Had to do this off camera, but he's being so fussy today. Okay, one leg down, one to go. Mm -hmm. I got one leg all done. He's being such a pain in the neck today, Rhinox. I expect from Rhinox, he's being a bit of a pain in the neck. Okay, to pull this out, revealing his robot mode chest. Okay, come on, Rhinox, work with me here. Work with me, Rhinox. Flip out his hands, which can be at the most difficult part of this transformation is his hands. Gonna have to pull them out off camera. They're being a pain in the neck. There's one hand all done. Pull it out of the slot. And you got an arm all done. Okay. Come on, work with me, Rhinox, work with me. Come on. Sorry he's taking so long, but he's fighting me. Now it works, and now we got one hand all done. First, just like the first. But they don't show his maximal symbol on his chest. That's the only problem I have with this figure. They could have added a maximal insignia to his robot mode chest here. But he's a good looking robot, if I do say so myself. Sorry about the transformation being such a pain in my neck. But now we give him his Gatling guns of murder death. So he can kill some... Predacon to be like suck lead Predacons. Rhinox is here. And I say, it's time for you Predacons to eat my lead. Ha <laughs> ha. Why not? There I say, why not? Okay, now I figured out the problem. Now he looks pretty good looking, huh? Nice looking robot boat. I'm going to turn on the flashlight so you can see all his details. Here we got Rhinox in his robot mode. And it is the most impressive Rhinox they have ever made with Hasbro. I have to say, this thing may have been a pain in the neck to transform... But it's so much fun, and actually looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Paint is really well done. Sculpting is really well done. I give this figure A+. Plus for good looking and accurate. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons next to him. Sure, robot mode is fussy to transform into. But otherwise, it's a good looking figure. I give it 
a thumbs up. But now for comparison, here we have Rhinox next to the other Maximals. There's Optimus Primal. And sorry about that, that these timers keep going off saying it's 4 o'clock. I don't work today, so I'm able to review these with ease, if I do say so myself. Awesome figures, fun-looking action figures, for sure. And I'm transforming Rat Trap off camera. That's one comparison we're going to do with the Maximals we have so far in our Transformers Beast Wars collection. Rat Trap, Optimus Primal. And Rat Trap does not like standing up for me. But there we have the Maximals we got so far. We are missing a few more Maximals in this series. I'd love to get a Cheetah. Cheetor. Not Cheetah, but Cheetor. And finally, a Dinobot and then Air Razor and Tigatron. So this Maximal family can be ready for anything. But one last comparison before we end this video. We're going to show him off next to some other, other figures from the Beast Machine Saga. Because Rhinox gets put into Tankor's body as a Predacon. Well, not as a Predacon, but as a Viacon General. So yeah, a little bit of history on Rhinox we're doing. And Rhinox was both the genius and the muscle of the Maximal side. Why I liked him so much. Here we got his future self, or his Viacon General self. Tankor. But one last comparison we're going to do is next to Mirage. The last of the Viacon Generals that didn't get a premiere in the Beast Machine series, which it would have been cool if they threw him in. But here we got Beast Machines Mirage next to Tankor and Rhinox. Dare I say, why not? Is a Transformers Kingdom's Rhinox worth adding to your collection? I'd say yes. He is a fun figure to mess around with. But we got one final comparison. Last comparison before we end this video. It's Rat Trap. From Beast Machines. The only other Beast Machine Maximal I actually own. But these are fun figures. If you can find a Beast Machines Rhinox for 20 bucks, I'd say he's worth the money. Going, he was originally 30 bucks when he came out. And then Ollie's got him at the end of the year for 20 bucks. And I got this for a steal. But if you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and it's Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.